Hello everyone. In this video tutorial, this time I'm going to show you how to use Serilog to save file into the text file as well as SQL Server. So welcome in ASP.NET Core channel and uh, today we are going to about Serilog. So first of all, uh, if you want to use Serilog in your application, then just use a web API project that is a default project just you have to create it. And in this project where we have only uh, exist that is weather forecast controller and there is nothing to use uh, that is Serilog right here, you can see. So here we have only the logger information is existing that is the iLogger file. That is the previously default uh, used right here. So weather forecast controller and uh, that is the iLogger information and uh, written with this. Uh, that is the default you can say that it is a logger information. So how to use Serilog uh, in our project to uh, save the log information. So uh, first of all just use that type of package in your ASP.NET Core and that the package is that is the serilog package uh, that is the package uh, serilog.aspnetcore that is the first package the second one package is serilog.settings.configuration and the third one is serilog.sync.msql server so three packages are required uh, to use it here or you can say that uh, serilog.aspnetcore is you uh, is to uh, bind the serilog logs in asp.net core and that is the configuration so by using the uh, configuration file you have to set the basic settings of the serilogs so here we have a basic settings in the uh, app settings folder so that is the serilog and write to the file and the name is msql also so that package is required most preferably and the next one is the serilog.sinks.msql server that configuration is used right here in the logs in, uh, in the program in app settings.json file for the types of things okay so everything is clear now the next one is uh, how to use serilogs so the first thing is to to do that is the default that is the logging information and the default logging information is right here that is the log level default microsoft.aspnetcore.warning that is there is a not uh, required if you want to use serilog and uh, okay so here we have uh, the writing information into the file uh, into the serilog so the default configuration of the serilog is right here so just use serilog and after that that is the object and in the object here we have usings in the type of array and where we have array that is the serilog.sinks.msql server minimum level that is the default information override with the microsoft.system that is the warning information okay so just write to write to in what that is the console there is a nothing uh, to display in the file but you can just write into the console also and arch is output template looking like that with the timestamp and like this so when we click this and just run it and you will see that your logs information into the right into the console and what is the console window right here you can see in the console window so the log information will be right here and you can say just start it and just weather forecast try it execute it so the information will be executed and you will see that the log information right here and the informations uh, that get weather forecast finished and uh, looking like that that is the time information http get weather forecast responded 200 and that is the log information you can say and that information will be also saved into the ms sql server by using this line of configuration and you can see that the name is ms sql server looking like that write to that is the type of array so the first thing is to uh, use that is the console and the next one is ms sql server and arguments is right here we have it. only the name is the console okay so the name is ms sql server arguments is the connection string first of all provide that is the default connection string and that information is logs example db so just open that logs information uh, dot db 
and you can see SQL Server Object Explorer, MS uh, Logs Example DB is actually existing the log information. So here we have database and the next one is logs example db there is the logs example db is right here and here we have a table information of the logs and here we have that is the logs that is the table name that is the logs and here we have some options in the arguments that is sync option section table name auto created sql database that is true that is automatically created there is nothing command to apply it here auto create sql table is also true so uh, database is automatically created and automatically created at the table the next one is the column option section column option section inside it here we have just check the uh, all the columns so here we have a column option section add a timestamp that is true uh, timestamp is true remove standard column that is message template and properties uh, columns are deleted from the uh, table and additional columns are also added like like, uh, like the log level and the data type of the and where care data length is 50 so that is the additional column and you want to remove that existing column that is the message template and properties if you are not removed that message template and properties the default columns will be added in this log information file so here we have log level and there's that there is nothing right here in the log level but you can see that that is a message actually we get weather forecast information and the date is 6 6 that is the current date okay so everything is fine uh, by using this uh, line of code so here we have some information and just use it okay so the how to save the file uh, how to save the logs in the console as well as that is the uh, sql server and also you can use that logs information in the file so here we have a sari log using like that minimum level is default right to that is the information you have to use it here so if you want to use uh, the next one that there is the that is the next level to use the file just copy that file that is the name is the file argument path that is the log web api and like this so just save this and use just after this so here we have uh, the log information and uh, so just comma separated and use this log information right here and you will see that your information is saved and your problem will be resolved okay so uh, just save this and again you have to compile this so the path is the logs and web api dash dot log information will be saved and rolling interval is the day so the time output template is looking like that here we have so correlation id username message exception and new line so all these informations are saved in the direct in the path that is the log level so here we have the information will be saved into the console file as well as ms sql server so uh, here we have the topics as weather and wait for some times it will be generated and just right click on it try it on out and execute it and you will see that the log information is where the file is actually exist just go to the project name and open folder in the file explorer and you will see that uh, there is an output file and here we have just one step uh, back with the log information and here we have a logs file is created so there is the file is created according to the date time and just open into the notepad and you will see that there is the log information so uh, thank you guys for watching this video and how to that is the necessary part how to configure that uh, the seri log in the program.cs file so here we have the code that is builder.host.use log hosting context as well as logger config and the logger config.read from.configuration hosting context.configuration 
and also use the middleware like use sending log with push logging. So thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to ESP.NET Core.